Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and from today we are starting tutorial series on MS Excel. So let's run the MS Excel application first. When you will run the MS Excel application, you will get this type of screen. You can open the new workbook from here and open the existing workbook from here. On right hand side, you will see the tab for more templates. Just click on it and you will find the tutorials of MS Excel. Moreover, it also consists of ready made templates for business. Press the back button. Personal. Press the back button. Planners and trackers. Press the back button. List. Press the back button. Budgets. Press the back button. Charts. And calendars. Again, press the home button. It consists of two tabs recent and pinned. So first I'll click on pinned. No workbook is available here. Now you, find, uh, now you feel that there are some workbooks which are very important and whenever I activate the MS Excel application it should appear first. So we can pin this. How? Just hover your mouse here and one pinned, two pinned, three pinned and now click on pin and you will see these three files are appearing here. There is one, uh, one more way to pin the workbooks. Right click on it and the pin can be done. Pinning can be done from here also. One, two, three. These are already pinned. Now one, two, Now let's understand the interface of MS Excel. On the top, we are having the program frame. Then we are having the menu tabs. Next is ribbons. In ribbon, we are having groups also known as segments. Then we are having formula bar. Next is workspace. At the bottom, we are having seat tabs. Then we are having a status bar. Next is view options and sliders. And the last is ribbon display options. Now you can uh, activate the blank workbook by just clicking here. And the ribbon uh, display options appear here. Click on it. Three options are there. Auto hide ribbon, show tabs, and show tabs and commands. Let's click on the first one. Now the auto hide ribbon feature allows the ribbon to be hidden to maximize the workspace. Now again click here. Show tab option displays only the tab names without showing the commands. No commands are there. Again click on it. Show tabs and commands restores the ribbons to its default state, showing both tab names and the command. Now in Microsoft Excel, the home button, this home button refers to the primary tab. And its associated commands are the part of the ribbon interface. The ribbon. Ribbon is organized into groups of related tasks. Let's say this is a one group, clipboard. Font is a second group. Alignment is a third group. The home tab contains commonly used commands for formatting, editing, and manipulating the data within your spreadsheets. Some of the groups 
available in the home tab include the first one is clipboard it is used for basic editing tasks such as cut copy paste format the format painter and just click on this arrow and you will see more clipboard options the next is font so click here the font includes options for changing the font type from here you can change the font type font style size of the font that is you want regular italic bold italic moreover the alignment of the cell numbers number formatting border peel protection everything can be uh, adjusted from here the next is alignment click on it so alignment provides tools for text alignment orientation wrapping the text and merging the cells see here wrap text shrink to fit merge cells and the orientation the next group is styles style allows for the application of cell styles and formatting presets then we are having cells cells contains options to insert the cells insert seat rows columns insert the seat the next is delete cells format the cells the other tabs available, available are Insert tab. The Insert tab provides option to insert various elements into your workbook, such as charts can be inserted. Click here and see the options. So you require a data, then only it will display the charts. What else we can insert? Tables, pictures shapes all these things can be inserted moreover some links can also be inserted so here the links is there equation symbols the next uh, we are having is page layout the page layout contains settings related to page setup how much margin we want orientation size of the page print area formulas provides the, the functions such as financial functions logical functions text date and time lookup and reference maths and trigonometry and there are more functions next we are having data Data includes tools for managing the data, such as sorting the data, filtering the data, importing and exporting the data. So you can import the data in text from web, from table range, and these are all other sources from, from which you can import the data into Excel. The next is the review. Review offers tools for proofreading like spell checking, workbook statistics, smart lookup, translating into the different language, adding the comments, and collaborating on workbooks. The functionality of all these tabs we will see in upcoming tutorials. In Microsoft Excel, there are several different views available to assist users in working with their spreadsheets. So click on view. Three views are available. One, normal. Second is page break preview. The third is page layout. So in normal view, or let's say a normal view displays the worksheet with cells, rows, and columns visible for data entry, editing, formatting, and viewing. Page layout view allows to visualize headers. You can see the header is uh, visible. 
footed margins and other print settings. This view is helpful for adjusting the layout of content to fit properly on printed pages. Then we are having a page break preview. It provides a visual representation of where Excel will insert page breaks when printing your worksheet. As soon as you activate page break preview, click on normal. A thin dotted line will appear vertically and horizontally, which means that this is your first page. Let me highlight it. So whatever work which you will do, this will be this will be displayed on the first page. The status bar here can be customized depending upon the user requirement. So you can customize this. In workbook, the default fonts are Calibri. If you want to change, then we will have to go in themes. So click on page layout. Activate the themes, select any one of the theme, again go in home and you can see now the font has changed. Whatever work you do in any work, it can be saved as file, save or save as. Browse, specify the location where you want to save the file. So this was all about the interface of Excel. For more videos on Excel, you can refer my playlist. Please don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe the channel. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter and Instagram. Link given in the description box.